Hello everyone, this is the last and final makeup haul that you'll see me in this outfit because I did have to batch film before I moved because I want all of these little boxes out of here, but I also want to show you the makeup before I throw the boxes away. Um, everything in this haul is going to be from Ulta, Bath and Body Works, and Victoria's Secret, but you'll just have to see on those. Actually, I'll do those first. And I do have one thing I forgot to mention that I got from Sephora and one thing I forgot to mention from TJ Maxx. Let's start with those actually. So the TJ Maxx one is from Laura Mercier and this is the famous translucent setting powder, except for this is the glow version. And this one was $10 at TJ Maxx. Now it is like a deluxe mini. But it has 9.3 grams of product, which is actually huge. Here's Here it is right here. It's really pretty. Um, I've used it once and I put it on my eye. I'll put the film back on it because I don't want it to spill while I'm traveling. Let's see if I can get enough to show you what I mean. It has this, I know it's called Glow, but it has this weird gold glitter in it. Did you see it before I wiped it away? get it to focus on my hand again see it and it does show up on the face it looks like I accidentally put highlighter under my eyes that's how golden it is but whatever I have it already next is the thing from Sephora I forgot to mention I have always wanted this Urban Decay Wild West palette um and because I like the packaging and I like the shade names and stuff so I found the mini at Sephora for like $13. Actually, I found it on the website for $13. And I was thinking to myself, as much as I want the big one, I would never use up the big one or even hit pan in half the shades. So I just got the mini. Here's what it looks like. Um, there's Spur, Standoff, Cowboy Rick, Bud, Whiskey, and Rustler. But yeah, they're nice, pretty shades. And I just really loved the packaging. Okay, now let's do this stuff from like um, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret and stuff. Okay, these should be the only two from Bath and Body Works actually. I forgot to mention these with my other haul of Bath and Body Works lip glosses. Bath and Body Works and has one of my top five favorite lip glosses simply because they smell amazing and they're cheap. I got the plain vanilla. And I got the Champagne Toast. I'm not going to open either. They're completely clear. So just clear lip glosses, but they have a lot of good scent to them. Okay, now let me speak on this one first. This is the only thing that's not a lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. So this is the Lip Glow. And this is like their lip oil. Actually, it does say conditioning lip oil in the shade Mulberry. It has a really good scent to it too. Um, the applicator only gets a tiny bit on the top there. It's kind of annoying, but it does have the tiniest little purple glow to it, but nothing crazy. Now, supposedly these ones are like $19.99, but you can get them constantly on sale for like five bucks. Now for my favorite lip gloss formula, I think of all time, I truly of all time I've ever tried are Victoria's Secret lip glosses. Now, they're thick, and I do like that because it looks really smooth on the lips, but they smell incredibly strong. Like, the scent on these are strong. Let me just read to you all the ones I have. So you can, I think every day they have that sale that's like, um, is it, buy two get one free or something meaning they each be like 750 but you can wait and there's even better sales that they go on especially during their semi-annual sales so let me just read you the scents i have and i got most of these in like packs of five so they're even cheaper i have frozen pear berry tropic and you'll see a bunch of them still have the plastic on it mocha mousse oh my gosh this is one of my favorite ones it actually smells like sweet coffee 
Oh my gosh, it smells so strong. It smells so good. There it is right there. It's probably the only one I'll swatch, but. And it's honestly like a good gloss formula too. Like it's not the, just the scent, it's like a good formula. Okay. Honey Shine Electric Punch. You can tell most of them still have the plastic on them. Coconut Craze, Sugar High, Berry Flash, Pink Mimosa, Strawberry Fizz. I know this is a good one. I've used that one before. Candy Baby. That's one of their most popular ones. It's cotton candy scented. Toffee Biscotti. This is one I'm super excited for. Peach Meringue. That sounds amazing. Cinnamon Swirl. That color is probably beautiful. Um, Juicy Melon. Cherry Bomb. I've used this one before. Amazing. Just has a tiny, tiny pinkish red tint. Kiwi Blush. That one's really good. And that's all. So that's all I have because I, I before this I only had one, I think. So that kind of started and it's hot chocolate scent and that kind of started my love of all these. And you can get them cheap and they smell amazing. Just like, trust me, <laughs> just try one one day or like buy one and try one, I mean. Okay. Next is all the Ulta stuff, yeah. All the Ulta stuff now. And by the way, they come out with a million cents like at a time. So there's probably 50 million of these I don't have at the store right now. Okay, let's go ahead with the Ulta stuff. Let's start with, let's start with these. I threw these in here because they literally are little freebie samples that I got in these little bags. Um, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Warm Deep Brown. The Fenty Beauty Helithic Volumizing Mascara. And the Clarins Lip Oil in the new yellow shade. I'm excited to try this. It is tiny, like, okay. Now for, oh, I forgot this one. This one actually came as a free gift to a purchase, but it was one of those that's like off one, like you spend $30 and you get this moon dust from Urban, which is interesting because this is when they were like a big deal and they were giving it away for free. So that's interesting. It's the shade Cosmic. The shade everyone's obsessed with is like um, Cowboy, Midnight Cowboy, I think. I want to say Urban Cowboy, but that's not it because that's the name of the brand. Um, and this is like an actual single too. Like it's not a sample. It's the actual single they sell for like 20, 15, 20 bucks. So crazy. I got this for free because I don't buy eyeshadow singles. So I definitely did not buy this. Okay. It's one of those wet look eyeshadow toppers. So pretty. Okay. Now let's do, let's do these from ColourPop. Make sure that's all from ColourPop. Okay, there is one more. Um, we'll start with this concealer. This is one of those you get on clearance and it's like 50% off the clearance price. This co probably cost me four or less. And it's in the shade Fair 15W, which looks insanely light, but it will work. It's the pretty fresh one. And then I have two So Juicy lip oils from ColourPop. These are $10 and they're plumping glossy lip oils they're called. I got Baby Panda and Beverly Drive. I love getting the darkest shades of um, lip oils because lip oils are for the most part transparent anyway. So I like something with the tiniest hint of color. I like pigmented things and like lip oils don't have any pigment. So. This is Baby Panda, it's that light pink. This one's probably the name that sold me. This mocha lip gloss from Victoria's Secret, I can smell it in the air because it's on my hand. Whoa, I just lost half of it because it like went on the ground. Anyways, here's what the doe foot looks like. Super minty scent. Sorry, I just swatched it over something I had to get off a minute ago. That's why it looks like there's 
little black stuff in it, but that was just a eyeliner I was trying to rub off my hand. It does have a light milky pinkness to it, but barely. I don't know where that lip gloss went. That's why I'm like, okay, Beverly Drive. I think I did use this one once. Ooh, so pretty. The packaging is really pretty, but everyone was saying how hard they are to get out. They actually are hard to get out without slinging the product like I just did. So pretty, same scent. There it is right there. You can tell it has the little reddish tint. So cute. Okay. And one last thing from ColourPop, which I was super excited about. It's the ColourPop Liquid Blush. Um, this is in the shade Angel Face, Weightless Liquid Blush. This one is also $10 on the website. By the way, I bought all this, the lip oils and these when they were having like 30% off ColourPop or something. Um, Ulta has amazing sales. That's what it looks like. Angel face. Let's see. Cute heart on top. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is going to be very pigmented or what. So let me just do that. Okay, it's very serum-like. You can tell it's very pigmented, but it's very serum-like. Like it feels almost a little oily, but in like a good way. <laughs> okay, next let's do. Oh, you know what? This was a free gift with purchase as well. Oh, no, it wasn't. I know what this was. I had to get something in my cart to get the like buy two lips, get one free or something. So this is from Maybelline. It is a lip liner in the shade Line Leader. It's called the Lifter Liner, part of the lifter gloss collection i won't open it because it's still sealed i don't want it to dry out next is this random one from covergirl it's the clean fresh lip tint someone gave me this one this is called uptown twirl and i guess it has a purplish tint i'm not gonna open it though next is from nyx these are the fat oil click slick plumping pins the ones you press on the bottom so i have trending topic clout and double tap so i have three i have a red a brown and a pink let's see that one's so pretty it has glitter in it too i was i was about to say i was excited about this one but it has no color to it <gasps> mm, sad I was kind of hoping it'd be more of that rich chocolate brown. I guess it does have color to it. You can't tell on the hand, but you can tell on the camera. So, yeah. They're ultra glossy. See? Okay. These, are they 8 or $10? I can't remember. That's the only one I'm going to swatch, though. Okay. Next, let's do these. These I got for, it was like half off minis sale. And I got two minis. These are mini benefit blushes. Um, I just kind of want to see what the new packaging was like. It's a lot skinnier than the old packaging. Um, the minis are 2.5 grams. And I got Krista and Shelly. Here's Krista. Kind of a vibrant orange shade. I don't have, so that's why I wanted this one. Oh, yeah. That's going to be pretty. There it is. Didn't want to show up, apparently. Kind of has like gold glitter in it too. Anyways, now Shelly. Two point five grams. That's and I, I like that because this one's much more of a neutral pink. Okay, that one actually feels softer than the other one. That's interesting. Looks much more baby pink. Oh, you can't even see it on my hand. It's literally right here. Huh. Anyways. Um, next, let's do this one. This is from Tarte. I got this at Ulta. And you know how they do the yellow tag? This was 75% off, $29. I don't know how much it was. Maybe six, seven bucks. Um, but this 
was pretty viral at one point. It's the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. I don't know if the shade is like changing or what, but it was deep buff. And it's this beautiful like orangey tone. Perfect for fall. I'm super excited for this one. It's huge. It's literally so big. I got it for so cheap. I was so excited to find that. You never really find cool stuff in the clearance section, you know? Especially stuff that's still trending. One time I did find a Dior um, plumping lip gloss in the like 75% off thing before. So here's what it, where it is right here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty for fall. Okay. Next is these two from Ola Hendrickson. I've always wanted these Palette Preserve Peptide Lip Treatments because everyone talks about these. Everyone talks about them. I've always wanted them and they had a five times points on Ola Hendrickson. So I just bought these two for five times the points and it did get me a lot of points because these are like 20 bucks a piece. So I got Strawberry sor Sorbet and Creme Brulee. I've heard a lot of people like these more than the Summer Fridays. Oh, wow. Creme Brulee smells like the sweetest cake ever. Vanilla cake ever. And Strawberry Sorbet kind of smells like a basic strawberry lip gloss. They're clear, but they're lip treatments, so they're supposed to be like... Oh, they also have the kind of spongy tip, like silicone-y tip, like um, Summer Fridays has. Okay, and last but not least for this video, these are from Too Faced. These are bucket list items for me. I've wanted these since they came out, and I just recently got two of them, and it makes me want all of them. And it's, everyone hated on these, but I think they're the cutest freaking thing ever, and I think it's very old school Too Faced. Too Faced kissing jelly glosses they're literally juicy lip oil gloss hybrids they're in the cutest freaking packaging like look at that and it smells like what it says so i have bubble gum and i have sweet cotton candy i really wanted grape soda and pina colada i, I want all of them um but let me show you sweet cotton candy you can't tell me this isn't so freaking cute and that you want a whole set on your vanity and it does smell like sweet cotton candy. Honestly, I wish it smelled a little more, like it was a little stronger. But I know a lot of people probably don't want that, so <laughs> I might be alone in that one. Um, but yeah, they're... Oh, I was about to say it's clear, but it looks like it has a blue tint. That always happens. On my hand, it looks different. But I think I'm going to... I was going to say I'm going to keep them in the box, but I'm not, because like this is cuter than the box, I think. Okay, and last but not least, I got the bubblegum one. Maybe if I can open it. I think these are 22. Oh, this one's a glittery one too. I might have to swatch this one as well. This one, yeah, I think this was my favorite smelling of all of them because it smells so strongly and it smells like that super plasticky bubblegum, like double bubble. There it is right there. What a cute shade. Oh, I love it. And that's all for this haul. And hopefully one day I'll have a haul with more of these little kissing jellies from Too Faced. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.